Hello, hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Marta here and I hope you will join me today for creating this little cutesy uh, a house, a wooden house, a shadow box or a greenhouse, yeah, uh, whatever you see I really really truly enjoyed making that so I hope you will join me and you will have some a nice creative time with me. Mm, those of you that watch my videos regularly, you know uh, how bad my pronunciation sometimes is and I was really terrified on spelling those. So this is... Succulent. Succulent. Those are succulent, <laughs> big and small, and that word is terrifying me for some strange reason. It's just difficult to remember for me to be honest. So I... Succulent. I thought I'm gonna just have my phone on because I don't want to make a silly mistake. So we have those gorgeous flowers, those gorgeous Succulent. from <laughs> Little Birdie. Okay, enough joking. Um, cactus, I will say. Uh, we have those gorgeous cactus and I have this lovely Venetian uh, window shutter and I have a w w wooden house. What I'm gonna do with that all, I have no idea. But I thought I'm gonna just try it. Take a few bits and pieces out from the boxes and see if I can actually come up with something super sweet and cute. And yes, I had those uh, succulents for quite some time now and I wanted to make sure that I will use them in a funky a nice way that will just show how pretty those are because those are handmade in India actually uh, from Little Birdie and uh, those are 3D little embellishments but those are hand crafted by people uh, in India so that's that's pretty impressive and super cute and important that those are actually made there uh, and they are really cute and actually it's very tempting to nearly do it them yourself them but so pretty so pretty that I I just have to oops I have to show it to you even those this little uh, this little shelf thing here in the box it's super cute in the box as it is it looks already so fun so yeah um I'm gonna take a few out. Some of them were taken already by Emily. <laughs> she took some to her fairy house actually. So those are from Little Birdie. I'm sure you know their brand because I oftentimes use their beautiful gorgeous uh, flowers, regular flowers. And this shutter, uh, Venetian shutter, is a new thing from Prima. So I will open it up. I haven't opened it yet and it was in my local store actually, uh, Cork Art Supplies, Cards and Scraps Online. Oh look at that! It was there uh, so I said I'm, I have to purchase it. You know what? This could be super cute. I'm gonna see if I actually can pull this off and see. Oh that's on the cork. How absolutely cute and gorgeous is that? On the cork. Is it cork? You say cork? You can actually pull that up if you want. Oh, those are so pretty. They look so realistic. I mean, wow, isn't it? So, so, so realistic. I see very well in the camera. I changed the lighting a little bit today, so I wonder if this will be actually good. Probably when you're watching this video, I'm away recording vlogs. I'm away on a tr one more trip to Poland. Not planned trip, nothing happened, everything is good. Actually, positives can be happening from that. But while you're watching this, I'm probably away, or yeah, I am probably aware, away, or I'm back actually from Poland. But I'm recording ahead, so I will be confused time wise when it's recorded, uh, what, and when it's actually uploaded on the channel. So you could be confused as well. <laughs> That is so cute, isn't it? So I just wonder if this will actually look cute. My packaging got destroyed in the box. So that's okay. That is so pretty. I have to say I'm more fun of those three. Uh, this is nice. In the, it, it looks like in the pouch, in the kind of like this um, paper bag, which is so cute actually to think about it you know that that it was just I think so awesome uh, thought well thought through th yeah thought through I I have this vision to actually either go by one layer like this and maybe and maybe I don't know 
I'll see maybe this one in the middle this one something like that how about this one being there we could stock them as they are and then second layer could be actually in more in front like like here or is it too many it could be too many you know it could be too many so no stress no stress let's see those are so cute I can't get over them like they are so very cute indeed okay something like this imagine that we just have that uh, stock there the best would be actually to stock it and see oh this will be so very cute you know what I'm just gonna do it and that's it I will do it because I think it could be so fun I will st stock that on the back because then we can actually move forward with our uh, project otherwise it will be quite hard because this will be moving too much and falling down so yes mm -hmm. maybe something like this that is so cool so cute so cute <laughs> even just without the shutters I'm thinking now wait a minute maybe I'm gonna just skip that idea and just go for the idea where I have for you it will be hard to see but I'll try to show it to you maybe something like that a small one it's like the little garden there oh my this is just I love it I love it love it love it I'm gonna do, do it like that maybe I, I will skip the idea of adding the window at all you know maybe I'll just this house if you be asking me where I purchased it I actually got it ages ago in some store uh, a local store that was more for home decor kind of stock in the shop at that time so not crafty at all so yes sorry for that if I disappoint you for not having a link or anything or not even a brand because there is no brand I bought three of them that time I remember so I still have oh that's so cute I still have two more I think I see one and the other one I think I started some project never got to finish it that is so uh, is it say, not nice saying stinking cute <laughs> it's stinking cute oh even like this wait a second this is like what you call it this would be like um, like uh, not a garden like yeah like not a garden in the box what you call that garden in the box could you say that or it could be done like that oh so cute so cute Mm, I think I will add those two as well and I found my real stones those are heavy heavy real stones they were 450 sell price 3 euro 1 euro those are more for decorative uh, for the house yet again they weren't in the craft store purchased or anything like that they were just uh, you know probably for decorating candles when you have candles and candles and what you call them you know like glass with a candle and water and stuff so I think for that um, I know that probably putting scolocent or whichever uh, on top of or, or of the house that's probably no sense but this is imaginary uh, garden this is imaginary house or actually um, I have another word for that let me check in Google I have it I meant to say the greenhouse that's what it is a greenhouse <laughs> I think it's a lovely greenhouse and you know the the transparent semi-transparent greenhouse in the gardens this one is wooden and white and so on but it's a greenhouse kind of for flowers to grow in the garden do you remember do you know what I mean I'm sure you do so let's see if I can actually add some stones as well and they are kind of colorful some of them I'll see because I was using them for another project some time ago for watercolors not sure if you if any of you actually remember it uh, and I'm trying to find some box for for it okay 
I can just use I put back my stones so they are pretty much <laughs> colorful but that's okay now I wonder how to actually stick it because oh, I can use this I can use this and I can use hot glue I think let's see if this will work I just need few you know I don't want to have too many it's more like for oh maybe that will be easier it's more for decoration for just touching a touch of a stone so and I like the idea that those are the real stones so those will kind of look real <laughs> since they are real uh, I can use hot glue or I could use gel medium which probably would be better because you could put few stones together but I don't mind do it one by one so that way I can control how where oh, where my stones are going and stuff like that so mm -hmm. but <laughs> you have to be careful as well with it okay that's fine let's see some other stone I have to say that uh, this is a totally uh, such a strange project uh, in a positive way that I was not expecting this I I thought we we're gonna run into mixed media run into uh, run into <laughs> um, some you know ordinary craft but no actually we it happened that we create we are gonna create something super cute and pretty and for change we're not gonna use any mediums, no coloring, no modeling paste, no nothing unless I'm gonna decorate the house but oops but I think we can just leave it as it is cutesy because it is nice as it is so <laughs> I love that I really love that it's so pretty so 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 pretty well I can do some stamping on the side but I really like what I see so I <laughs> I, I don't want to change the, any of that any of that now unless maybe some chipboard maybe some pretty pretty chipboard that's all oops as the addition and to kind of oh no I'm not burning don't worry I'm not burning myself my hot glue is not hot so many of you is asking me I bought it in Lidl Parkside it's Lidl brand I bought it there and I swear it's not hot no I shouldn't be swearing is it but it is not hot and it's fine and I can hold it and I, I did burn myself once or twice um, because I didn't react on time but and maybe it was really really hot like let's say I forgot to t switch it off or something but truthfully usually it's not that hot so as you could t say it and see it many many times for your with your own eyes I love it I love it love it love it maybe off camera I'll cl cl stick the rest of the stones so you don't have to wait for the final effect but maybe it's not the final maybe I'll come up with something else who knows who knows what Marta will come up with mm, I gathered few chipboards I have some kind of fence from a little birdie as well oops there are two fences in it how cool is that? Um, hmm. I don't know. You tell me. Is it too much? Mm, it's it's cute. Actually, this is very modernish looking, which I love. Uh, I have another. F Let's see. I have a frame like that, which I figured could go there. But yeah, if the house would be like not a house. That could be pretty cute, isn't it? But since it, oh, but actually, I could cut it maybe into. What if I cut it into size, and I will have those two left, but they won't be big enough. Mm. No, not yet. No, and I'll have this bird that I was thinking to <laughs> make it smaller and cut it, and cut or. Oh, cut out the bird only <laughs> oops because I, I I love the chipboard it's gorgeous but I don't think it matches the rest so I thought of 
cutting it. No, no idea. No, no, none of the idea is good. <laughs> Mm, I just destroyed the packaging from from the cactus and I'm just putting those in here and I have to say I pretty much love and I'm loving the effect uh, that packaging is so very pretty it is so very pretty because it's like it looks like natural wood or not natural wood but wood of a color that I actually like imagine this being attached to it that is actually nice that is really really nice I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it down um, I will because I like it so I will I'm gonna use my hot glue for this I hope this will be fine well, A little bit too much on, on here. Okay. Now. Hot glue there. <laughs> Super. Now. I am short there, but that's okay. That's okay. Mm hmm whoops go on top it looks very woodenish now <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. now the sides as well I think and maybe a bit thicker stripe because it was thin thin too thin yeah, maybe that's what I will do, I, I think. There we go. Super. And what I will do is I will cut this. Mm -hmm. Is this thick enough? It is. Super. Super, super. I just looked at the camera thinking, did I actually record it or not? But it is recording. So it's okay. Sometimes I forget to look if I actually turned on the camera. Because <laughs> I'm so excited about things or I'm so nervous that I just don't even think. I'm not sure if you can see the difference because the difference is very small. Uh, because the packaging is very nice and bright so the difference is tiny but I love that difference now if I have more I go for that around uh, the inside I think I would still s I, I do like the fact that it's white and that is because we can clearly see the scholars and themselves which is which is important of course this is our main project here main piece um, I just wonder if I have some wooden papers to cover the rest. Let me see. Um, I do have this kind of paper. I I don't know the brand. Elizabeth Craft. Oops. Elizabeth Craft Design through the Lens Wood series. Elizabeth Craft Designs. That's what I found, and this is what I like actually. This is this is the pattern that I like. It's a little too dark for my taste. Oh, and this one. But I can live with that, so let's see. Mm, I think we are sharp again, back to sharp, sharpness. It's a little bit too short, the paper. That's fine. What I will do is I am going to be gluing this down, as you can see, on both sides. So I'm going to make this... I just see where I can cut it. I cut it. Okay, I have that. So the line is somewhere there. Mm -hmm. No, I prefer that kind of grayish look. So I'm going to do the same thing for this one, for the second paper. Uh, 
uh, I don't really measure, I do measure but I'm not that extremely precise because I'm not. But that's probably every personal person is different so oh this is so pretty now I do love it I do love it and I could use uh, that around here but no I like what it is I like it now what I will probably use is gel medium let me grab some gel medium and I'll stick that on top of there I guess or maybe I'm gonna swap from for brighter look mm -hmm. like this and this side doesn't matter actually no no okay roughly like that so gel medium now to be used can you see because I think the sharpness is very bad now maybe because of me the 3d projects it's not always easy to 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 photo to record because it's 3d and it's just harder oh I think my stones are falling or not I don't know <laughs> That's okay. So some gel medium. You could definitely use other things like Mod Podge. Hot glue gun would work as well if you fancy it. Super. And the other side. And the other side. How strange is this project as in recently I'm doing them kind of strange projects. Uh, well not maybe strange. Strange is the bad word but projects that are not typical mixed media or yeah but I think it's nice to try to find solution for some products. How to use them interesting, interestingly so yeah. And Skulosense are one of those that not everyone knows how to play around with them so I hope this is gonna be bringing you some inspiration and some ideas for your projects I must say they are super cute they are realistic looking and it's gonna be a gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um, uh, what's the word gorgeous um, home decor piece I think I need more glue there. Now I need everywhere glue. More gel medium. That's okay. Okay. Dum da dum. Dum da dum. Oh, that is so very cute, 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 cute. So very cute. Now the down downstairs there, <laughs> downstairs there. Um, bam, 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 bam. What can I do? Well, any. I could add anything there, really, if I want to. But do I want to? I could do like this, like that. I will. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. So it will be completed from from underneath it as well why not so I'm gonna grab that oh the baby did you hear oh I'm gonna grab her I actually didn't have to go because Emily just ran to her sister <laughs> ran for her sister it's so awesome to have them both and having the older one loving the smallie like crazy <laughs> that's nice oh okay I'm just trying to see if I like that if I like that or not if this will actually look nice from underneath it mm. 
somehow I don't enjoy the idea. Maybe maybe thicker. I don't know. Unless I'm able to make that very invisible. Let me get off that glue. <laughs> you see, when you create with no plan, and while you're creating, you're changing your ideas and mind and all, it, you know, all kinds of obstacles you can meet on along the way. But on the other hand, this is the total beauty of creating. I'm going to actually glue it down. And that's it. I'll see if I can manage. Hello, girls. Hi. Hi. Hi, girls. Hello, Hannah. Did you have a good sleepy? Did you have a good sleepy time? Hi. You barely, you won't hear her because she's now fascinated <laughs> with what I'm doing. So, how are you, Emily? Good. Good. Good, mm. good. Are you enjoying the summer? Yeah. Yeah. I hope you do. <laughs> now, let me just firstly try to glue this down nicely and properly. Mm -hmm. Then the sides as well. And I'm going to hold it very firmly, especially on here on the edges, so we wa won't see much of the joining, joint of the paper or whichever. But I have another nice idea how I can finish that project. I'll, I will share that with you in a second. I just want to concentrate on that. Okay. That's nearly like origami for me. <laughs> although, it, although it's not origami of course, but... Whoa. What do you think? That's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Would you like to keep it for your fairy house, maybe? That's yeah. a garden. It could be a garden for your fairies. Oops, I think... I think this should be more on the side. <laughs> Hello, little handy. Hello. <laughs> oh, my darling girls, I love you. I love you both. Okay, so this is what we have now. This paper is tiny bit too long, but you know what you can do? You can just grab some and just do this. If it's too long on the side, on the edge, if you are like me and you have to have sometimes things, maybe not perfect but good, so I'm just getting rid of the edge, distressing the edge. Could you see? Yeah, and it works perfectly actually. Of course this is the backing nobody will see, but still, if you fancy to have it well, done the good way, the proper way, a little glue, then one of the trick. <laughs> okay, same for here. There we go. Is my glue not gluing or what? <laughs> Looks like it that my Gel medium is not gluing down, or is it drying so fast before I even stick it? Okay. Oh, I think we can call this pretty much finished. Nearly, nearly finished. Let me just tidy up the desk for you. I was thinking that maybe uh, adding a little bit of inking on the side, maybe this could be nice. So I'm grabbing some um some this one is distress ink vintage photo and look i'm thinking to add this on the edges of my project so that way this will kind of gives us this nice dirtyish kind of look of vintage of um as well, color-wise, this will just be nice and matching the papers together. It will be more unified, I guess, you can say. 
that was Hannah. <laughs> now the packaging paper is more is more um, what's the word S um, shiny so I see that it holds the ink differently but that's okay I can probably still take the wipe and wipe off nicely in the middle I'm guessing yeah so if it's too much I love this idea of the little house, 3D home decor, <laughs> nice, 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 nice. On this side as well. I think we are very near to be finished. Sadly, because this is a joy. <laughs> I should more make more vi more uh, projects of this kind where we just can create different differently, you know. Things for home or gifts idea. So, mm, I love it. Even this where the joining is could be. Vintage photo is the ink. Vintage photo, if you're interested. That is so very pretty. That is so pretty. Oh. Okay, I think we can. We can call this finished and done. Am I right? Let me have a look. <laughs> Not scolescent, but succulent. Succulent. For me, it's scolescent. I don't know, scolescent. Anyway, a perfect little piece uh, of home decor, something totally different, three D little house. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you will um, make something along those lines when you have a little three D piece that you can just decorate inside, like a shadow box. Actually, actually, it is a shadow box in the shape of a house. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. It is a gorgeous shadow box, a vintage shadow box. Mm, cute. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, thank you for your comments. Loving to read them always after a video. Um, yeah, if you feel like sharing this uh, cute idea, please do. And uh, till the next time, happy crafting. Bye. Bye bye. Uh, is something that we will make today. I hope you will enjoy. <laughs>